Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a really, really underrated, not talked about enough fight. Josh Kulabau versus Danny Silva. Josh Kulabau 11-2-1. He's 3-1-1 in his last five fights. He's a minus 180 favorite, as he should be probably. 29 years old, he'll be 30 in a few months. 5'10 with a 73-inch reach. Here comes the fun part. Danny Silva, 8-1, 4-1 one, in, in his last five fights. He lost to uh, Kanan Kawari, majority decision in the LFA, plus 150 underdog, 27 years old, 5'11 with a 70-inch reach, 1-inch reach in height for Silva, 3-inch reach advantage for Josh Kulabau. So, again, this is a really fun fight. If you've watched Danny Silva in the Contender Series, he fought Isaiah Oh boy, what's that? Or no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Isaiah Pacheco. This is Angel Pacheco. My bad. Uh, for all you fucking trolls in the comment section. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Seven and one. Uh, he, when he fought him. If you haven't watched that fight, go watch it. It's a, a blast of a fight. Every time you thought Danny Silva was about to get a finish, uh, Angel Pacheco would do some crazy combination, get himself right back into the into the fight. Danny Silva ended up winning the, the the decision, but both guys got a contract to fight in the UFC. I believe Angel Pacheco uh, is getting ready to fight in a couple months, I believe. He's fighting some sometime soon. He is scheduled to fight. But Josh uh, Kulabau coming off the fight with um, uh, fucking, um, yeah, Laurel Murphy, the miracle. Um Going into that fight with Lerone Murphy, I thought Josh Kulabau, with his style, could give Lerone um, some issues with his grappling, with his pace, with his pressure, his durability. And Josh Kulabau really just didn't show up in that matchup. I know how good Lerone Murphy is. I like Lerone a lot. I just thought with the style that Josh has, he would be able to do a lot of good things. And he just wasn't able to do the things that I thought he'd be able to do that he had done in his other fights. He he his His pressure looked off. He wasn't able to dictate where the fight had gone he wasn't able to stop really takedowns his combinations didn't look good his pressure didn't look great just a really really good performance by a a lesser known guy for josh kulabau um or for larone and uh you know even though josh kulabau isn't known really and he should be um Lerone Murphy, that's that's a very, very good win. And it shows that Lerone doesn't have to just be a striker or defend takedowns to look to strike. It showed his well-roundedness against a guy that is durable, that is very good. You know, very, very fun fighter in Josh Kulabau. So, I, I in this matchup, again, it's another one of those things. Danny Silva, in close, um, does very, very well. Like, Angel Pacheco is a very, very suitable opponent for Danny Silva to show Silva's skills. Because Pacheco marches forward, he has a good boxing style, but he has a high guard, so he can just rip combinations. He's looking to counter, Pacheco is, so Silva can just kind of have a crazy output on him. You know, kind of how, um, um, oh, what was it? Oh, Kyler Phillips was with Pedro Munoz last night for two ninety nine. you know? Uh, in this matchup, I, I think I'm going Danny Silva in this one. I think Josh Kulabau, with his grappling style, with his pressure, I think can also get him in trouble if he cannot get that takedown. Because I think Danny Silva, that with it, with it flowing with striking, I don't think Josh Kulabau flows with his striking. It's more of a um, bully striker to pressure you to get you against the cage dirty boxing make it real ugly make it real dirty almost kind of like a like a mark andre barry type of fighter but danny silva i think gets it done it'll be a close decision and i think as the fight goes kulabai will kind of edge himself back in there but i think towards the end of the fight danny silva will be your winner and as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Remember, Josh Kulabau is a favorite, minus 180 to a plus 150 underdog for Danny Silva. Fun fight. Don't think either guy's going to get finished. Fun fight, though. As always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you guys are picking. Let's talk about it down there in the comment section. Peace.